Hey Capricorns, I am here to do your reading for love, Capricorn relationship. Let me turn your meditation music down. It's kind of loud. Okay. All right, Capricorns, good morning. I am Phoenix Rising, and I am here to do your love reading for the end of March for couples only. If you are tuning in for the first time, hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the like button if you like my video. Hopefully you do. Um, I'm here to give you your love reading. Please excuse my sinuses. I'm jacked up, Capricorn. <laughs> I got a little <clears throat> nasal thing, thing going on, you know? So, um, I'm not sick, though. Um... Night allergies. It's like 3 in the morning. I know y'all probably like, why is she up? This is like the best time to be up, right? Anywho, I'm Phoenix Rising. I'm your tarot card reader. If you clicked on this, it was not by coincidence. I'm going to do your pull on camera, and then I'm going to meditate on your cards. Hopefully it's not too dark. I am doing a love reading for Capricorn Spirit Guides, December 22nd through January 19th. Love reading for couples only for the zodiac sign Capricorn. I'm doing a love reading for Capricorn Spirit Guides. December 21st through January 19th. Couples only. Capricorn. December 22nd through January 19th. Capricorn. Love reading. Couples only. At the crown of your reading, you got the temptress in reverse. You got the four of cups in reverse for your second card. The ten of cups next, Capricorn. The Ten of Swords in reverse. I mean, I'm sorry. The Ten of Wands in reverse, Capricorn. And last but not least, the Page of Pentacles upright. Okay. Spirit Guides, why is the Tempest here in reverse for the Zodiac sign, Capricorn? December 22nd through March, January 19th. Why is the temptress here in reverse for couples only? Capricorn, December 22nd through January 19th. Spirit says stop. King of Cups, upright, comes with that temptress. And so does the King of Swords in reverse. You got two kings coming out. Okay, now, <laughs> why is the Four of Cups here in reverse for the Zodiac sign Capricorn? Two card clarification, Spirit. Why is the Four of Cups here in reverse for the Zodiac sign Capricorn for December 22nd through January 19th? Love reading only. Couples. We got the Seven of Swords in reverse with that Four of Cups in reverse. Got the Tower. Oh, shit. Tower in reverse. That's always a good thing in some aspects. Let's see, though. I'm ready to meditate on y'all cards. Why is the Ten of Cups here for the third card? Upright. For the Zodiac sign Capricorn. December 22nd 
through January 19th, Spirit Guide, give me clear clarification of why the Ten of Cups upright is here for the Zodiac sign Capricorn. Couples only. Spirit said last shuffle. I'm obedient to the Spirit. Uh, High Priestess in reverse came with that cups upright. Then you got the Five of Pentacles upright. Spirit, why is the Ten of Wands here in reverse for the Zodiac sign Capricorn? Love reading couples only. December 22nd through January 19th. Oh, hold on, y'all. I'm getting fumble fingers for some reason. Hold on, man. Do a little shuffle. It is the King of Pentacles came with that Ten of Wands in reverse. Also with that King came the Three of Wands. Now I need to know why this Page of Pentacles is here for the last card. For the draw for the Capricorns. For their love reading for Couple Spirit. Hit subscribe or like if you guys are still tuned in. The more you watch, also for me as a reader, the more you watch, um, the more I pick up on your energy. The chariot upright came with this page of pentacles. And your last card is the ace of wands reverse. <clears throat> oh, like I was saying, couples Capricorn. The more you watch, <clears throat> the more um, I pick up on your personal energy. And then when I go to do my cards, um, I pick up your energy. And then it's like you get a free reading, right? That's what I used to do all the time. Should I still read? I, I do my own cards and I watch other readers. But the more I watch the person, some I subscribe to. I've been with for over a year or two. And I mean, it's real personal. So I'm like, dang. I've even heard them say letters of names. Um, so. Okay, Capricorn. This is my Oracle deck. It's just one card draw for your relationship for love, Capricorn. December 22nd through January 19th. <clears throat> Spirit, give me one card for relationship for the Capricorns. Spirit, say bottom of the deck. Scarce card. This is your uh, meditation card. So once I'm done, at the end of your reading, I'll read that card. <clears throat> so Capricorn, I'm going to pause the video, meditate on your cards, and I shall return with your love reading for the end of March. Please stay tuned. I shall return. Hold on one second because I don't want to get up, so I'm going to call my daughter. <laughs> Sorry. Jada. Jada. Hold on, Capricorns. I'll get that. I'll be right back, guys. Just need a little time by myself with your cards. Hey, Capricorn couples. I am back with your reading. Okay. Let me get situated, y'all. How's everybody doing out there? Hope you guys are fine. Okay. Whew. Okay, work with me. It's three in the morning. Okay, so at the crown of your reed, you got, and I changed the lighting too, so hopefully you guys can see a little better. The crown of your reed, you got the um temptress in reverse. <clears throat> that means disharmony. Um imbalance. One of you guys could be antagonizing the other one is what I picked up. Um, and someone feels like the other one cares more than the other. Y'all could just be around and fighting over crazy stuff like being petty petty. 
Corona outside. Y'all don't want to be in the house locked up with your mate. Some of y'all don't. So, and the King of Cups energy is here. Now, this is somebody. If you're a man watching this, this is you. Or if you're a woman watching this, this is either somebody from your past. But this is not the person you're arguing with. This is someone else. It says, um, basically, this is a water sign. It could be a Gemini, I mean, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. It does not have to be a water sign, but it can very well be. It just depends um, on how you look at it. It also means like a good husband, um, love and romance, um, a supporting relationship. So that's why I say it's two different messages. Um, but it's supposed to be like arguments coming to an end as well. So it can also mean that the imbalance that you have is coming to a complete end, Capricorn. You got the King of Swords with that in reverse. That means poor communication. This was the reason for the imbalance. The poor communication made things all jacked up between y'all. So, and someone was kind of ruthless, judgmental, um, you know, power hungry. Um, this could be an air sign. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. It does not have to be, but it can be. Uh, and it also means someone lost their cool during this argument. It's been a lot of arguing going on. Some type of disagreement. And it's all petty. Like I keep saying, I keep coming with petty. So your next card was the four of cups in reverse. This means renewal of an old relationship. Okay, that means somebody from the past coming back. I keep putting my hand on these candles, y'all. I'm burning myself. Um, it means somebody from the past coming back. Or it means relationship. the relationship that you're in, um, and you basically have outgrown it to some degree. Letting go of regret, not being stuck anymore, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Um, but this could be a renewal. You could be in a relationship for a while and you like, you know what? I'm going to give it one more try and see where it go. And if it don't work, I'm just going to say forget it. And this could actually be like, fuck it. <laughs> I done outgrown this situation. I'm done. I'm out. Okay. With that, four of cups in reverse. Came the Seven of Swords. Now, let me tell you about the Seven of Swords. This could mean cheater, deceit, deceiving. Um, let me see. Uh, coming clean. Even somebody could be trying to blackmail y'all. Like, oh, you call yourself trying to leave me? Watch out for that. Um, don't ignore the warning signs. It means basically exposed. And it means that you could be exposed in so many different ways. Something could just accidentally pop in somebody's hand lap. Oops, you know, leave something out. You make it leave something out. You see some more. But it's saying don't the seven of swords say don't ignore the warning signs. Be on your on your guard. Like you gotta pay attention. Use that third eye. Pay attention. Now you got the tower in reverse, which is okay. It's not a bad card. Most people see the tower and freak out. So this tower came with the four of cups and the seven of swords, which is basically the black male, and you know, but it means avoiding dealing with the change. So, it's like, you know what's going on, you avoiding it. But I need you not to, you know. I need you to um, pay attention. Um, don't delay the breakup if that's what's, what's going to go on. You need to just let it happen because what you got to you ain't got time to waste. After the corona over, you're going to want to go outside. Shoot. <laughs> okay. And then you got the Ten of Cups upright. This means reunion with the lover from the past. Um, harmony, bliss, good luck, blessings. Um, someone from the past could be coming. And you might just really want this in your life. You're tired of arguing as well. You want the Ten of, of Cups. You want completion. You, if you can see the card, it's like family on there. You want a, a perfect ten. Who don't? The High Priestess in reverse came with this damn Ten of Cups upright. Now, this means you could be highly desirable. Okay? So, that could be why you, had, you, you know, have the... Um, the King of Cups coming up, the King of Pentacles. You could be highly desirable right now. Even in a relationship, you got people looking at you. This could also mean sexual attention and basically emotional outbursts. So if you are arguing, it could get kind of crazy. And you and your may not may not be doing nothing at all in the bedroom. Maybe you don't want to. Depends on how you feel. Okay? You got the Five of Pentacles also with that um, Ten of Cups upright. So, this basically means um, 
that you feel left out of the cold, abandoned, or your partner might be feeling like that, oh shit, she didn't abandon me, or he just left me out in the cold, or walking around with an attitude, um, it means you also, you and your partner could be struggling with health issues or money issues, partner could be draining you dry, you tired of being out there broke with this person, you want to send a cups to completion. Now, I also wanted to tell you, um, before I move on from this Ten of Cups, this is, you want the fulfillment of the Ten of Cups, which is the fulfillment of a happy family. And you could be burdened by this person putting you in debt and, you know, stuff going on. But this, um, high, um, I'm sorry, high priestess in reverse could also be the person that they're cheating with. Spirit say to tell you the name could be with a B or a J. Um... For the infidelity of the Capricorn, whoever is cheating, it could be um, a B or the name starts with a J. Spirit wanted you to know that, okay? Page of Pentacles in re... Oh, I'm sorry. Page of Pentacles upright. Lord, I'm trying to give you to in reverse. It's upright. This means loyal, faithful, partner, um, passion gone out. It could mean, you know, um, serious issues, but you in need of fun, basically. Them serious issues could be arguing over the finances, but you need to have some fun. Enjoy your life. The chariot came with that as well. The chariot <clears throat> energy came with this. Um, in my eyes, chariot needs is balance. Work hard to fix things. So if you want the relationship to work and you're going to forgive the person, or even if they didn't cheat and you just want to be with this person, you got to check your emotions. Okay, because your reading was more so about balance because um, it's funny how the chariot came in for um, for you, which means balance. And your opening card was the temptress, which was imbalance. So this was your first card that I pulled. This is like your last card towards the end. It's saying to find that balance, Capricorn. That it's like beyond needed to get your man right. You need to be balanced. Okay, so, um, and check your emotions is what the, the chariot is here for. The chariot also means travel. So some of you might be having plans delayed because of the course what's going on. And then you got the ace of wands in reverse. That means add the sparks back. Um, sex, my, sex life might hit a slump and you need to add some spark back. Um, you might be bored. And this also means delays and setbacks. And that's my, just, you know, you're in the house. But you're the Capricorn, so I know you're a workaholic, so. Okay, Capricorn, so this was your reading um, for love for the end of March for all the couples. Um, not everyone is cheating. I want to say that, too, during my reading. Sometimes it comes out. Remember, more than one person is watching this video, so I'm picking up everyone's energy. So there is some infidelity, though, and then there is a woman. Their name starts with a B or a J. She is a very big influence on the, the Capricorn in the situation. Well, vice versa, the person that you deal with. Um, and he's actually listening to her. So you need to be weary of that. Um, and somebody in his ear. If the attitude and change and everything and change, the imbalance came from something. So, and then for others, it's just because he wanna be lazy, he don't wanna do nothing. You know, you tired, you tired, you've been, you've been, you've been the, uh, the, the king of pentacles in your damn life, and you're not supposed to be. You, you ain't supposed to be the king of pentacles. That means you showing up and, and, and being the king. And what the hell you need a king for if you got to be the king in your life, Capricorn? Come on. That's what I'm going to close this reading with. What you, need to, what you need a king for if you got to do this? Find that balance. Take care of yourself first. Pedicure, manicure, have fun. Okay, Capricorn? Whew. Now, that was your reading. I thank you guys. Please hit the subscribe button. Um, like, subscribe. And I be I shall return with your April reading, probably April 5th for the first two weeks of April. Um, thank you guys so much. Have a good night. Capricorn, love, I forgot one thing, guys. <laughs> this is my white oracle deck. I just wasted a little bit of wax on that for my candle. But this is the card you guys got earlier that I did not read for your meditation. And I would like to close when you're reading with it because I don't want to do you guys wrong and I read it so I'm going to read it okay so you got the sacred scar number 11 
Your inner and outer scars are marks of your soul's courage. They are signs and strengths of survival and willingness to be alive. The scars speak to which one calls pain being transformed into inner knowledge and inner power. Trauma shall be transformed through spiritual leadings. You will find wounds to be healed. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You can trust your inner healing process and hidden higher purposes behind things happening as they do. You are strong and you shall flourish on all levels, Capricorn. Love, okay? So you be safe out there. Bye-bye.